be damned. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of requests to do this. And I've seen a lot of reactions to this already, ranging from very supportively biased. Whoa, look at this face! That's my girlfriend! To incredibly critical. This is horrible! And it just, you deserve this! Okay, you deserve this! My friend Azzy from the channel Azzy Land recently released a music video called Money. And I think I'm in an interesting position here because Azzy is uh, my friend, I know her personally, but I also. Um, my ears get offended very easily. <laughs> Shit. Here we go, 3.6 million views in three days. We're about to watch Money by Azzyland. And I'm noticing already that oh, it's number 22 on trending right now. Great. I just love the That's how you know that they mean business. They mean money. Azzy. Yeah. Azzy is a very, she's a very uh, shy and reserved person. It would be like your very shy and reserved friend Patricia making a song and going Patricia at the beginning. You'd be like, what? But okay. Give me that money. I need that paper. Give me that cash. Me that. I want better gifts while I laugh and listen to jazz. Gotta, run and get that money. Gotta dip and give that money. Dip and get that money. She actually asked me for tips uh, prior to this video on how I do the glue noise because she wanted to apply that to her her voice for the whole song. Give me that money. I need that paper. Give me that. So now we have a part where I guess uh, Nem. Give me that money. Nem is cosplaying as himself as a kid right now. I, I'm guessing he was into like swords and and his mom cut his hair. So he's just he's feeling really left out right now. And I need that paper. Give me we that all pay. know that the cool kids walk around with a big jug of milk and spit it at people. Azzy is on her uh, Nintendo Switch, hanging out with uh, this Nem guy because they're they were the underdogs. Okay, this is an underdog story. This is an inspiring, inspiring story of money. Yeah, and start to eat out of glass. Wait, what? Did he say stop eating shit and start eating out of glass? Oh, it's on Genius. Okay, like that. Give me that money. I need that paper. Give me that cash. Give me that. I got pedicures while I laugh and listen to jazz. I got or I get. You used to get pedicures when you were poor, and now you don't get them anymore. Because now that you're rich, you grow at your toes. Gotta run and get that money. Run and get that money. Gonna grow and get that money. Shrink and get that money. Gonna poop and get that money. Pee and get that money. You're gonna get money all the time, but especially you have to remember to run and get it. R run, r run. And get that money. I need that paper. Give me that cash. Give me that. Stop eating shit and start to eat out of glass. Stop eating shit. Stop it. Start eating out of glass. That's really good advice, actually. You know why I'm doing this? Because you gotta get the money. No, because you gotta stop eating shit. Sorry. And start eating out of glass. I'm eating shit and start to eat out of glass. I can do this. Azzy is as spicy as this meatball that I'm eating. Very spicy. Okay, so I can already tell from the beginning of this video that, um, this is hype rap. I feel like she's obviously playing a character here. She's trying to do something very ambitious right now. And I actually asked her if I could make a reaction video on this, and she said, yes, and I'm not claiming any of the videos that are just trashing me because I believe in free speech. So, I mean, she's asking for it, so let's keep going. She is making nasty money. I can, I can tell you that much. She makes nasty money, classy money. Wait, what, what other kinds of money she makes? Pockets looking funny when you make an assy money. Her pockets are always, her pockets look hilarious. Turn that frown right upside down. I got that money, money, money. Looking funny when you make an assy money. Love that shot. Cause I am a pervert. Turn that frown right upside down. I got that money, money, money. Okay, so full disclosure, I actually I actually have heard the song before. She showed it to me around her birthday party, which is uh, a little less than a year ago, but it's still, it, it was many months ago, and it was really late at night. I think it was like 3 a.m. She was very shy to show it, and um, she wanted our honest opinions about it. Seeing it in this music video form is very different than it being 3 a.m. and you being like, what? And like hearing, hearing a song that's like, get that cash, get that money, like in a party setting, like it was actually, it was pretty hype to listen to. In this setting, it's a little awkward. I never had the money though, no. I ain't had the money show. She didn't have money, and because of that, people were pouring milk just all over her. That's what the cool kids do. They carry around cartons of milk, they spit it at you, and if you get too close to the cool kids, they will dump milk on you. Azzy actually asked me to be um, one of the bullies in this music video. I, I can't remember, I think I was like busy 
or in LA or something, but um, I was also a little bit scared of being portrayed as a bully online because people can't really tell when you're putting on a character for something. It's very obvious here. What the F happened to Azzy is one of the top comments. So people are obviously taking this seriously despite the fact that it kind of just follows a trend on YouTube of uh, just making something very, I mean, I wouldn't say insincere, but it's just, it's it's hype, you know? It's like, it's supposed to be flexing. Dropped out school, oh boy, next thing you know. Parents, you'll be a doctor, I said no. Immigrant lifestyle, we've been through the lows. Her parents are immigrants. Dropped out of school, oh boy, next thing you know. Parents yelled, be a, be a doctor, doctor, I said no. Nope. Nope. By this line right here, parents yelled, be a doctor, I said nope. You would assume that Azzy was like, no, I'm not gonna be a doctor, I'm gonna do this YouTube thing, and she just drops out of high school or first year college and uh, doesn't do any of that. But the real fact of the matter is that Azzy has an honors degree in biology. So the med school doors are open for her, but she decided to try YouTube. This line makes her seem like a brat who's kind of anti-education, but Azzy is probably one of the most educated YouTubers on the platform. Knowing Azzy in person, it's very, it's very Azzy to not want to do something, but go halfway to make people happy. And that's why I'm kind of proud of her for making this video is because she's really going out there. She's really being ambitious and she's doing something that is completely out of character for herself. She knows that she's going to get slandered by the internet for this, but she just wanted to try something different and new. No Rari's or Lambos. That is true. <laughs> she doesn't have a Rari or a Lambo. She does ride her bike around and like ring the little bell and ding ding, Azzy's here. <laughs> It's actually a good line because she's basically roasting YouTubers who spend their first big paycheck on Lambos. She's saying she could buy a fleet of them, but she doesn't feel the need to. Listen, up in school, the kids were this ain't immigrant stressing, been proud fessing. I oh, um, I'm not gonna be like, this guy doesn't have the flow of Kendrick Lamar. That being said, his flow is stressing, been proud fessing. That's all I've been waiting for, bless. It's interesting. If you got hands, go on and clap them. Roads are hard to Google Maps, son. Is that poetic, Terry? Man, they are just dousing Azzy and Big Nem in dairy products. Go and take a shower, bitch, for reason sees we rich. Go and take a shower, bitch, because we rich. Okay, so eat out of glass and take showers. Noted. If that if the message hasn't come across yet, just listen. I know. I know! You're gonna run and get that money, I know! Azzy looks like like in that shot, she looks like a supermodel. What is this guy saying? I need to go and blow all the money. The cheddar. I need to buy coconut oil so I can look better. This guy, if you're not careful, is gonna blow all of his money on coconut oil. Although, I would have thanked the high school people because egg yolk is quite good for your skin and they absolutely doused him in it. He didn't even have to blow all that cheddar. I need that good that blow all the money that cheddar. Hey, excuse me? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. M one more time. I need that Gouda, that blow, blow, that money, that I need that Gouda, that money, that cheddar. Did he say Gouda? Because that's actually pretty funny. I don't, I don't see the part where he says, give me that moody, that goody, that hoodie, that cheddar. I need that Gouda, that blow, blow, that money, that cheddar. I need that Gouda, that flub, that, that money, that cheddar. I need that Gouda, that blow, blow, that money, that cheddar. What do you say there? I need the Gouda, the money, the floda, the cheddar. What's a floda? I don't know. I'm not gangster enough to know these things. Me give me that Gouda, that Flora, that money, that cheddar. I need that Gouda, that Flora, that money, that cheddar. Just says, give me that better, that better, that money, I'm on it. Why are you looking all upset just a year ago? You were talking shit. You it is true that Azzy has been like bullied a lot in the past. It is true that she's dealt with a lot of people who are like making fun of her for making videos, but she like just kind of had this vision and she stuck by it and she's doing really well right now. It's a it's a very inspiring story. Money and fame bring a lot of fake friends. Money even on your best day, bitch, I still look better. I mean, that's true, but did you have to say that? It ain't about the bands, though. It's all about my fans, though. It ain't about the bands, though. It's all about my fans, though. Uh, this is the part that uh, confused Keemstar a little bit. <laughs> this line is an attempt at a sincere moment in an otherwise flex-fest extravaganza, and I honestly feel like it would have worked out better if she said, It ain't about my fans. Like, if she made it very obvious that this song is hyperbolic, but the fact that that kind of seemed like she was trying to mean it is what made critics say that she's not being sincere. I do know her in person, and I do know that the connection and the experience is what makes her happy, but you wouldn't know from watching the video. Catch me in Amsterdam, yo. And take a trip to Azzyland, oh. I'd like to take a trip to Azzyland. 
Whoa! Saying, I still look better than you on your best day. Like, that's like a, ooh, ouch. But like, you know, she hurt you in the past. But like, why is she kicking her nail technician in the face? What are you guys doing? What are you Why are they doing this? That's so offensive. <laughs> Okay, I just took a few rewatches and realized that the people who were dumping milk on her were the people doing their nails, and that's why they kicked them in the face. It's a, uh, it's very eye for an eye, justice, and I think it was done for the sake, for the entertainment and the sake of the video. Why is he holding a time bomb in his? Oh, it's a sprinkler. I thought he was holding a suitcase that's gonna blow up. Like, here, Azzy, hold this. And they got bullied, and now they're happy now. Now, well, happy isn't implied here. They got bullied, and now they're rich. I, I don't think that kicking your nail technician in the face is necessarily the answer. You know, in the great words of Beyonce, always be graceful, best revenge is your paper. Doesn't mean always be graceful once you're rich, you can kick people in the face, or you can Google Maps, son. It's very, very easy to sit on the sidelines and be like, that is garbage. And I feel like that's why a lot of YouTubers are afraid to take risks and put themselves out there because by doing it, you're kind of, you're inviting all of this negativity into your life. And that's why I'm proud of Azzy for doing this because she's never done this before. She's not a songwriter. She's not a song composer. She had never made a song in her entire life. Every YouTuber understands how something they put out there is going to be received. Um, Azzy anticipated this happening, but she did it because she wanted to. That's pretty cool. I anticipate Azzy reacting to my original song in 2019 and being like, wow, she is trash. And she's allowed to do that. And if I don't upload because of that, Azzy is a bigger person than I am. I'm sorry to any Azzyland fans out there if I came off as very harsh in this, but um, I probably love Azzy more than you do. And good friends aren't yes men. Good friends let friends say what they want and good friends say what they want, so. That's all. I have dinner with Azzy tomorrow and I'll let you know if she doesn't show up. Follow me on Twitter at Gloomy Cassie and I'll give you all the details.